Hello friends, so welcome back. Uh, we are learning jQuery. In our last class, we have discussed about how we can create a progress bar. So in this class, we are going to discuss about how we can create slider. This is the title. So for creating slider, you need to just come inside the main div and create another div to start div close. So inside this div, you can create a class or ID. Uh, I'm just going to create a class, uh, not class, sorry, ID. You can give any name, for example, slider. And inside the jQuery, you need to just uh, insert dollar sign, round bracket, another dot, another round bracket, and semicolon. So inside the first uh, round bracket, or you can say parentheses, you are going to insert uh, single quotation with a hash sign and just calling slider so you all know that we are using hash uh, just because of id and slider is the name that we have used here you can see and here the same thing we are just going to use so before that i'm just going to save this i just run this in chrome and uh, launch in chrome sorry so you can see we have, don't have anything here so after adding a slider keyword here you can just save this now you can come here and refresh now you can see that we have a slider here i'm just going to increase uh, the width of just uh, this div uh, for example the width should be 100 uh, just uh, 1200 pixel and the height should be something like uh, 500 six uh, not six save and refresh so you can see this is a slider and just for adding some more functionality you need to just come inside this parentheses and insert a curly braces and you can just set value value and you can just set this on for example 35 Control s now it is on zero point after refreshing you can see now it is on 35 or you can see 35 percent if you are just writing here 20 so it will come on 20 you can see if you are writing here 50 so it will come just totally in center horizontally refresh now you can see this totally in center so after this you can just put a comma here for using next attribute so you can just write here mean so you can just set the value of mean means mean minimum minimum and for example the minimum should be zero and the maximum uh, maximum value you can just give like uh, 100 or just something like this now you can save this and refresh no changes uh, because uh, the value is set on 50 so you can just save this again on 20 any value you want you can save this. so you can see now it's on 20 percent for example if you are setting the minimum uh, value on 100 and the maximum on just 1000 so control s so it will just move on to you can see you cannot see just here it's just here if you are using 200 here uh, 200 so it will work uh, instead of 20 you can see uh, because you have just set the minimum value uh, 100 and the maximum 1000 so again you are just going to put this on zero and this one on 100 and this one should be just on 20 so you can see there will not be any changes it's on 20 it was that was on 200 so after that you can just uh, create to uh, just uh, you can use uh, multiple uh, function here for example you can use here instead of value you can use values and here instead of this you are just using uh, this bracket and you can just set 150 and comma you can just say to 450 now you can save this and just refresh for just uh, seeing the result so not working uh, let's check why v a l u e s values and uh, 450 and just uh, you can set this on 100 
and this on 1000 because we have used uh, here the bigger just value than this control s and refresh again not working so no problem yes you need to just insert a comma here and the range range you know you need to just give the value true control s and refresh so this not again not working so there is a problem let's find uh value 150 just uh, you can give this just something like 390 and you need to just remove these ones control s come here refresh so not working and why it's not working 150 uh, yes friends we have forgot to put a comma here that's why it's not working control s and refresh now you can see it's just working this is the starting point you can just set this and this the uh, just ending point for example the starting point is 100 you can just set this on 300 and uh, sorry the starting point is on 150 you can just put this on 250 250 and you can just set this on just 690 something like this control s now come here and refresh now you can see 250 690 so if we just use here range or nge range is equal to true control s uh, so let's check you can see it will give you just a highlight color between those uh, these two just you can say uh, percentage you can see this is starting point and this ending point refresh so you can see so after this if we just discuss uh, some in advanced level about this you can put a comma here just come inside your body and you can duplicate this you can just give any other name for this for example get underscore well it means guilt value so you can just come here and you can insert a dollar sign uh, or you can just write here slide something like this and uh, put a colon you can just run the function here function round bracket and semicolon so this time you are going to work inside this you are going to pass out here two parameter the first one is called event comma the second one is called ui so inside this curly braces uh, you need to just write here you need to just create two variable for example variable uh, you can give any name for example val underscore uh, zero zero is count to one in programming languages so we are giving name uh, val underscore zero is equal to ui dot values values because we have used here values so that's why we are just calling this here and after that you can just uh, insert the bracket value variable number one and you can just duplicate this uh, this should be value number two and here also number two so one and two and after that you can just uh, for example you can come here insert a dollar sign round bracket another dot and the round bracket semicolon inside this you are going to insert a single quotation a hash for id that uh, we have used here you can see get underscore well we have assigned id and you can just write get underscore well and here for just getting the value of this we are just writing here html so inside this uh, you can just write here for example uh, well underscore zero and you can just put a plus sign if you want to just use here uh, just single quotation for creating this space another plus sign vl underscore one so let's save this control s come here and refresh now you can see this is the starting point on 208 and uh, this is the ending point on 823 you can just set this from here so you can see it is working just perfect i'm just going to zoom this 
and this is the ending point and this is the starting point you can see this working if you want to take out the result of this in some just text field so you can use this you can just come here inside your body and just create an input tag input uh, type is equal to you can just say type is, is equal to text so you can just come here and duplicate this also instead of this uh, get fail we are using we are going to select the input i n p u t and here just other will be the same control s now come here and refresh so it should just come out inside this also let's check why it's not working so one more thing you can add some text here for example you can just add here like uh, you can use here single quotation you can say from or you can say start starting point is t a r t i n g starting point and here you can just uh, say ending point e n d i n g ending point so like this you can just use this uh, starting point and here you can use plus and control s let's check refresh so you can see starting point 229 ending point 690 just like this so for solving this so let's check what is the error input dot html will zero so the same thing you can just do this here also control c to copy you can paste here and you can just copy this one also control c control v save this and the error input dot oh sorry here we should write not html for just input we are using dot well it means value control s now come here and refresh again now you can see starting point ending point so you need to just uh, increase the width of this uh, input so just come here inside the css uh, directly you can write input and open just curly braces you need to define the width for example 300 pixel control s to save refresh now you can do this working correctly you can see if you use here for example font size is inside this uh, something like uh, 35 pixel let's check it's working or not control s and refresh now you can see if we set this on 20 instead of 35 control s refresh and just increase the width you can just put this on just 350 let's check control s and refresh now it's working correctly so you can see starting point uh, 246 ending point 690 you can just set this from here so friends it was about uh, creating slider inside jquery i hope uh, you have learned how you can create a slider and uh, for this video it's enough till next video have a nice time and see you